Hello and welcome to Get Started Fast with Avid Sibelius for Educators, presented by Avid Blogs. My name is Katie Wardrobe from Midnight Music and in this eight-part series, we'll look at the special education features that Sibelius offers teachers and their students. In this lesson, we'll look at how you can use the versions feature in Sibelius to create an automatic compositional diary. Sibelius' versions feature allows you to save milestones during the compositional or arranging process. When you make significant changes to a score, you can choose to save a version. It's a different process to the usual save as function. Instead of ending up with multiple copies of a score, all versions live within the original Sibelius file. To manually save a version in your current score, go to Review, New Version. This button is only enabled when you've saved your score for the first time and given it a file name. Sibelius will number the version and provide the date and time that the version was started, but you can rename the version anything you like. There is also a space for writing comments about this version. These comments are different to the comments feature we looked at in the first video. They don't appear in the score itself, and they're most useful for writing notes about the major changes to the score. Examples might include new instruments that were added, a change of key that was created, or a section that was deleted, and so on. You could also make a note of work that needs to be done in the next version. You can change the comment options in this window by going to File, Preferences, Versions. There are three choices. By default, Sibelius prompts you for an optional comment, but if you'd like to turn that off, you can select Don't prompt for a comment here. There's also an option to require a comment to be added to each version of a score. This can be useful if you want to ensure that your students note their progress before they finish work on a score for the day. You can view your saved versions by clicking on the plus button on the right hand end of the document tab bar. This is also the place where you can view all the separate parts in your score. You can view a previous version by clicking on it. A new tab will open, displaying the version alongside the current active copy of your score. You can also view versions by using the Next Version and Previous Version buttons on the Review tab. Each previous version is an archive copy of your score only. You can't edit a version in any way, but you can, however, select notes, bars, or entire passages of music, and then copy and paste them into the current version of your score. You can also play back a previous version, or print it out if you wish. To copy material from a previous version, first make a selection in the score and then press Ctrl-C or Command-C on Mac to copy it to the clipboard. Click on the tab containing the current version, select the destination point and then press Ctrl-V or Command-V on Mac to paste the selection into the current score. You also have the choice of reverting to an earlier version altogether. When you do that, the current version of the score will become an archived version and the earlier version will become the active current score. To make a previous version the current score, click on the Make Current button on the Review tab. Sibelius cleverly allows you to compare two versions of the same score so that you can see the differences between them at a glance. To do this, go to Review and click on Compare. Choose a newer version of the score in the top drop-down menu. Choose an older version of the score in the drop-down just below, and then click on the button with two arrows. Sibelius will open both scores side by side on your screen, and a Summary of Differences window will also appear. The Summary of Differences gives you a broad overview of the changes between each version, such as lyrics added to a part, bars being deleted, and so on. The Compare window shows a list of the differences between your two selected versions. If you can't see this window, it may be hidden behind the two scores that are open. You can move one aside and then click on the Compare window to bring it to the front. The first column, New Bars, shows the differences found in the more recent version, the one you selected in the Compare drop-down menu at the top. The Old Bars column shows the corresponding bar numbers in the score you selected in the With drop-down menu. The third column, Staves, lists the staff or staves that are affected, and the Differences column lists the change that has been made. 
It's important to note that Sibelius does not make a note of differences in score appearance. Things like layout, formatting and note spacing do not appear in the list. Instead, Sibelius focuses on the musical content, such as notes, lyrics, chords, bar lines, tempo markings and so on. The two open scores also show the differences visually by way of coloured highlights. Musical objects that have been added to the newer version appear with a green highlight. Objects that have been altered in the new version appear with an orange highlight and objects that have been deleted are shown with a red highlight. If you'd like to export the list of differences between the two selected scores, click on the Save Differences button at the bottom of the Compare window. If you'd like to rename a version, export one of the versions as a separate score or delete any versions, you can do that in the Edit Versions dialog. When you select a version in the list on the left, you'll see a preview of the score on the right hand side and you can look through the pages of the score by using the arrows below it. The buttons in the middle give you some self-explanatory options, including the ability to rename the version, make it the current version, or to delete it. The Export a Score option allows you to export the selected version as a separate score altogether, which will not include any of the other versions. One of the best aspects of the versions feature is the option to export a log of all the changes that have been made to a score over time. This is perfect for students that need to submit a compositional diary for assessment. Go to the Review tab and choose Export Log. You can select a specific version to export, or you can choose to export a log of all the versions within a score. The log can include a list of the differences between each pair of versions, the comments saved in each version, and a thumbnail graphic of the score. Including a graphic of each page can take a while to generate and will result in a much larger file. When you've made your choices, click OK. Sibelius will take a moment to generate a rich text file listing all the changes. You can have Sibelius prompt you to save a version whenever you close a score. It can be useful to turn this on if you're working with students and you'd like them to save a version at the end of each session. Go to File, Preferences, Versions, and check the Create New Version When Closing Score box. That wraps up the second Get Started Fast with Avid Sibelius for Educators lesson. In the next lesson, we'll look at creating quality audio files and videos from your Sibelius scores. To watch the entire Get Started Fast with Sibelius for Educators series, join us at avid.com forward slash Sibelius Educators.